Good morning, dear students. In the last class, uh, in our social, that is in, from 9th standard to the first, that is in social science, we have learned about uh, the second lesson of history, that is religious promoters and social reformers. So today, let us go to the third lesson of uh, history, that is Vijayanagara and Mahamani kingdoms. So in that, we are going to come across some major points like the establishment of Vijayanagara and Mahamani kingdoms, the dynasties which ruled Vijayanagara and Mahamani kingdoms, and third is achievements and contribution of Sri Krishna Devaraya and also the major four dynasty that ruled the Vijayanagara Empire that is the four are the Sangama dynasty, the Sadova dynasty that is uh, the Tuluva and the Aradu. So let us have a detailed note of this lesson. So uh, by having a, uh, some important pictures in this. The establishment of the Vijayanagara Empire is a landmark in Indian history. The South Indian dynasties, the Yadavas of Devagiri, the Kakatiyas of Varangal, the Pandyas of Madurai, Paisalas of Dwarasamudra, Halebidu, the Cholas of Tanjaur were all the victims of violent attacks of Alauddin Khilji. As a result, political instability, lawlessness, fear and religious turmoil prevailed everywhere. Under these circumstances, the kingdom of Vijayanagara was born. It ruled for three centuries. By 15th century, it spread up to Indian Ocean in the south, Bay of Bengal in east and Arabian Sea in the west. Hakka and Bukka established this empire on the banks of the Tungabhadra River in the year 1336 CE. Later, Hampi became the capital of Vijayanagara Empire. The Vijayanagara kingdom had to face the resistance of the following kingdoms that were present during this time. Delhi Sultans, Gajapatis of Orissa and Bahamani kings of Northern Deccan. The famous kings of Sangama dynasty were Harihara I, Bukkaraya, Harihara II and Prabhudevaraya. Harihara laid the foundation for the Vijayanagara empire and developed a capital amidst new hillocks. Bukkaraya. Bukkaraya defeated the Redis of Kondavidu and merged Penukonda area with Vijayanagara. Bukka was successful in solving the religious war between the Jains and the Sri Vaishnavas, thereby upheld religious harmony. This fact is revealed by one of the inscriptions in Shravana Bedagoda. He constructed a fort and a few temples in the capital and encouraged agricultural activities. Bukkaraya sent an ambassador to the court of a Chinese king belonging to the Ming dynasty. Bukkaraya's son Kampana defeated the Sultan of Madurai and enlarged his kingdom. This victory is marked in Madhura Vijayam written by Ganga Devi. Next comes Harihara II. During the 27 years rule of Harihara II, the son of Bukkaraya, the Vijayanagara Empire comprised of vast areas. He took into his control Kondavidu, Karnul and Nellore forts. At the time of the death of Bahamani Sultan Mujahid, Harihara II expanded his kingdom from Goa to the north of the Konkan coast. He occupied the fort of Pangala lying to the north of Krishna river in the year 1398 CE. Next comes Devaraya II, he is also called Prabhu Devaraya. The most famous king in the Sangama dynasty was Devaraya II. He had earned the title of Elephant Hunter. Devaraya II defeated the king Gajapati Kapilendra of Orissa and seized Kondavidu. By suppressing the regional leaders of the border, he expanded the kingdom up to Krishna river in the northeast. Later, he defeated the Kerala ruler and received royalties from Kerala and Sri Lanka. This earned him the title Dakshina Patada Chakravarti, the emperor of the south. Through this conquest, the Vijayanagara empire extended from Sri Lanka to Gulbarga and Telangana to Malabar. According to Nunis, the kings of Ceylon, Pulikat Pegu, Tenastriam of Burma were paying royalties to Prabhu Devaraya. Devaraya II chased the traditional foe Ahmad Shah of Bahamani till Bijapur and occupied 
Mudgal and Bankapura. Its commander Lakkana Dandesha took up a successful naval voyage. Devaraya II was tolerant towards other religions. He constructed mosques, giants and Vaishnava temples in the capital. Being a poet himself, he had in his court the Sanskrit scholar Dindima and the Kannada scholar Lakkana Sandesh. Lakkana Dandesha during his period, Veerashaiva tradition and literature saw a revival. After the death of Devaraya II in 1446 CE, weak kings came to power and the rule of the Sanganava dynasty came to an end. So dear children, today we, are, we have learnt about the Bukkaraya Harihara II, Devaraya II. So tomorrow let us have a deep uh, detail about Krishna Devaraya.